Thank you so much for all your teachings. I really feel the presence of Abraham and more and more continuing to receive guidance from my inner being and from the more expanded version of myself. And I feel so joyful and I just want to magnify it as much as possible. And sitting outside and going for a walk just on the break, the palpable love and bliss that I feel is so enjoyable. And you called on me and, and now it's like I don't even have a, a question. I'm sure there are questions, but do we even need to speak? Or could we just experience the transmission without even... Well, there is so much that is conveyed emotionally and much of the world is not speaking. There is so much that does not require language. Language is only of great value for bringing more minds together upon one topic. In other words, it makes for a good collective focus, but it actually detracts from the conversation between you and your inner being. There are so many words that are being offered. This is a time in your global human evolution where you are at a tipping point where you are engaging in so many words with so many that you are creating a desire for more individual alignment. There's a tipping point about to take place. In other words, as we're looking at you as a mass consciousness on your planet, your desire to communicate with one another has always been strong. And it has almost always come from a place of individual feeling of not enoughness. So you have been looking for validation from one another, first in your villages and so on. Now you have reached this place where you have the ability to be aware of so much of what everyone else is thinking and doing every moment that you are sort of cluttering your airwaves, mm -hmm. not your internet airwaves. We mean your own internal vibrational airwaves because as meditation is to alignment, Facebook is to not alignment. <laughs> In other words, it's like the opposite of that quieted mind. And so what's happening with the sort of tipping of the balance or the contrast that you're living is that now more are asking for that solitude isn't the right word. Solitude, humans translate as loneliness. We don't mean solitude. We mean oneness. We mean alignment. We mean being in the vibrational attitude of that broader perspective so that you hold then the attitude of that broader perspective. And when you find that place, you find yourself in a happily, very comfortable, wordless place because the words fall far short. It's sort of like the difference between seeing a picture that someone has painted and asking someone to describe it to you. It's sort of the difference between watching a movie or listening to the soundtrack of the movie. In other words, there is so much more that life can show you. And we're not trying to talk you out of your words, but your question is asking. It is a representation of what so much of the world is reaching for, which is alignment. That's what you're seeking. So you've been looking for alignment through validation from others. Am I pretty? Do you like the way I look? Do you like the way I'm dressed? Do you like the way I'm living? Do you like the car I'm driving? Do I fit in in this way and in this way and in this way? And humans want to call that a sort of superficial approach to life. And yet almost everyone is getting most of their feeling about themselves as it is being translated back from someone else. And so it's a distorted point of view that you're getting back. It's a distorted feedback that you're getting back. Where now what you're hungering for, what you're yearning for, and we are blessing the internet and Facebook and all of your interaction for this desire that is being so powerfully born within so many of you. You're hungering for your alignment with source. You are hungering for that broader perspective. And you are not just hungering for it, you're finding it. 
and so that's why a feeling of alignment of attunement a feeling of love a feeling of well-being it's that stability that you're reaching for and then once you find that and then you move out then you can begin conveying what you're feeling we're not trying to talk you out of words we are an example of someone who is standing before you knowing you loving you knowing you completely loving you completely but it would be a far lesser experience if Esther was just standing here allowing us to look at you because some of you are in the receptive mode where you could hear what we mean and certainly if we spent time together you would feel the love that we feel for you but isn't it nice that in this alignment Esther is able to find words that also convey that and so that's what you're reaching for you're reaching for alignment first and then everything else that you want will follow that helpful yes something more I would love to talk about music a little bit I'm a musician and I created this consciously four or five years ago with Abraham techniques and really meditating with Abraham and meditating every day and dreaming up what it would feel like to be performing and I've written several songs since then and I had a probably the biggest gig I've ever had last night and I've only played probably four or five gigs all year or something around that and I've been thinking about how to get to the next potential with my voice I had a dream last night where I actually experienced God and my interpretation of what God was in the dream come through me and I could feel it in my throat in my voice and I notice I'm sitting back there and I can feel all this tingling in my voice and I'm passionate about what's possible what's the next level of potential for me singing and clearly communicating with people and being a divine channel and here's the thing that you want to know for sure mm -hmm. that if what you're living can produce within you a desire for something in other words as you're saying what's next for my voice that's different than saying this I seek for my voice saying what's next is sort of allowing the vortex that you've already created and there's plenty there but saying I know what's in my vortex and right now I'm asking for this and this and this that's when the specifics of that begin to bring to you right here right now the sensation of source actually working on your vocal cords actually relaxing them that's all that's happening relaxing them to allow you to allow them to express in the way your mind is already identified as possible that makes perfect sense to you doesn't it and we want to go back to this because we've been talking a lot about step one step two step three get into the allowing mode allow what's in your vortex to be inspired to you we've talked to you about that until you're almost at the point where you're wondering am I supposed to think about anything I want anymore because we never talk about goal setting because you've already done the asking we're talking about aligning with what you've asked for but the thing about scripting the thing about telling the story the way you want it to be the thing about saying to the universe I would like my voice to be able to do this and this and this is that you've already put it into the vortex so the potential of it is already there in terms of full manifestation but by you making your statement here and now in an attitude of relaxed and positive expectation then all of the impulses are then allowed in other words you're actually translating physically cellularly what needs to be done source knows it is sending the signal by you focusing in that way you are allowing yourself to create it this is when creation really begins to get fun because there has been a sort of argument that you've been fighting with yourselves about that goes well Abraham am I the creator of my own reality or is my inner being the creator of my own reality and I'm supposed to just sort of chill out and follow the signals and the signs and we say remember you put everything that you want in your vortex but in many cases you are not consciously aware exactly of what you've put there and even more important you don't know the proximity between the things that you've been asking for and their ability to manifest here's a simpler way of saying this to you your inner being knows where you stand vibrationally emotionally where you are in terms of readiness for everything that you've been asking for in your vortex and your inner being knows the precise path of least resistance why is there any resistance at all because you've put it there but the path of least resistance why is there any resistance there at all because you have put it there 
the path of least resistance so your inner being knows what you want and where you are and what your resistance is and how to call you around it you see what we're getting at how to call you around it so there's really no way that you can miss but if you really want to get your hands in the clay if you really want to feel if you really want the exhilaration of watching the universe at your command then make more deliberate statements about what you want right now today I would like this and this and this and this segment intending I would like to see this improvement I would like to see this and if you are in a vibrational place of readiness oh what fun you will have as the impulses come and the payoffs come things as specific and dramatic as buying a lottery ticket that is a winner things as specific and dramatic as turning right instead of left where you were going to go but getting an impulse to do something else and meeting someone who has a piece of something that you've been looking for there are all kinds of things the possibilities are unlimited the question is how much fun are you going to have directing the unfolding of these possibilities sometimes when we talk to you about how you've created your vortex and how your inner being knows where everything is it makes it sound like you are sort of puppets on a string where you just have to chill out and then you'll get the impulse to go somewhere <laughs> but when you are understanding that you get to continue to make your statements of desire and that the universe has the ability to deliver the answers and the goods moment by moment that's what we were describing earlier that's how life is supposed to feel to you you're powerful creators and it is only fun when you are powerfully creating limpness was before <laughs> empowerment is now lackadaisical was before deliberateness is now action was before utilizing the energy that creates worlds is now coming into the fullness of who you are not just fulfilling your reason for being as it was understood by you or intended by you when you were first born but understanding what life has shown you that you want and trusting that the universe has the ability to deliver to you those details that you have personally purposefully carved out for yourself you get to live in the kind of house you think you want to live in you do you get to drive what you want to drive you get to have the relationships that you want to have you get to have it all you get to choose it and choosing it is most of it that's the thing that we really want you to hear sifting through the today contrast is the new choosing of it you see there's enough in your vortex to keep you busy for 20 or 30 lifetimes but what you're putting in there now the things that you're choosing now they have the potential of yielding to you sooner now hear this we've not said this to you before you're gonna like this so you've been kicking around for a long time yes 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 and you've been sifting through the data and you have put lots of things in your vortex and you have established a relationship with those things that you have put in your vortex you have an expectation about them are you following us they've been there and they haven't manifested they've been there and they haven't manifested and they've been there and they haven't manifested but the things you decide today that you put there you don't have those patterns of resistance all built up around those those can manifest for you quickly so the more things that you say today that you want the more things that you say hey I never thought about this before but wouldn't this be fun wouldn't this be nice because you don't have this big boatload of resistance that you've been dragging around about it it will show up today or tomorrow and it'll make you feel way powerful so that's sort of what we're feeling from you a desire to make more deliberate statements about what you now want from where you are in this attitude or trust that it's going to come about and it's going to come about quickly and then if you want to usually you don't you can go back and clean up by bringing all those things that you've been dragging around as unfulfilled desires for a while but you know what we've noticed about your unfulfilled desires most of them aren't worth fulfilling because if you really cared about them you'd have kept them active and if you really cared about them you'd have lined up with them if you really cared about them that it happened so if you've got a bunch of unfulfilled desires write them off like a bad debt 
I'm forgiving this debt to the universe. I'm no longer going to focus on because one day can give you enough things that you care about to keep you busy for the next month or two or three or four. Mm -hmm. The universe is ripe and ready to yield to you. It is enough. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Thank you.